Today's Mexico travel vlog is going to be slightly different than our past videos. We're still going to take you on an epic outing through Mexico, just in a new way. Back in February, we visited the Teotihuacan Pyramids, which is one of Mexico's most visited tourist attractions in the entire country, and it's massive. It was honestly so much to take in that we weren't able to fully capture and share with you our experience in the moment like we normally do. So rather than not share it at all, we decided to sit down in the RV and walk you through what it was like visiting the pyramids as well as share a little bit of the history and legends behind them. The city of Teotihuacan was one of the largest ancient civilizations in Mesoamerica, when at its peak probably had around 200,000 inhabitants until its fall in 750 AD. The name Teotihuacan is a Nahuatl word, meaning the place where the gods were created and was given by the Aztecs, who ended up finding the pyramids about 600 years after it was abandoned. The Aztecs believed that even though the city was abandoned, it was extremely spiritually important. They named the two largest pyramids, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, to coincide with the legend that they had about the creation story of the new world. In the story of the creation of the fifth sun, two gods actually brought the world out of eternal darkness by leaping from the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon into an eternal burning fire, thus becoming the Moon and the Sun. The era of the Fifth Sun is what the Aztecs believe that we are currently living in today. It is known as the era of movement, balance, and life. As archaeologists continue to study these pyramids, they are finding out new information that's dating further and further back. But right now, some experts believe that these pyramids started construction and as early as 400 BC. But the largest pyramids, like the Pyramid of the Sun and Pyramid of the Moon, were probably built around 300 BC. Very little is actually known about the original inhabitants, who the Aztec called the Teotihuacan people. There was very few artifacts that have been found that tell the story, and no written language has been discovered. So experts have a number of theories about who these people might have been, as well as their beliefs, and why this civilization ended up falling including flooding, drought, or possibly civil unrest. But honestly, no one really knows why people started to leave around 750 AD. There are two ways to visit and explore Teotihuacan. You can visit during the day between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and that costs about 70 pesos per person to get in. Or you can purchase tickets for the night experience called Nocturnum in Teotihuacan, which will cost you around 500 pesos per person, but it is amazing. The owner of the RV park that we were staying at actually suggested going to the night experience and helped us purchase tickets from Ticketmaster. We are so glad she made the suggestion. It only runs from Thursday to Saturday. They end up giving you a guided walking tour that is available in multiple languages and you get to see the pyramids lit up at night in a way that is so magical and impressive. And at the end of the walking tour, you end up going to sit down in front of the Pyramid of the Sun and they show you through a 45 minute laser light show what it was like to have lived at the peak of this civilization, showing what the pyramids probably were painted like with murals all over them. And they had a really good representation of some of the legends and creation stories about Teotihuacan. We explored during the daytime on our own and then did the night experience and I kind of wish we'd have done it the other way around. By day you can climb the pyramids but you're going to be doing it with crowds and you get to see more of the overall layout of the city itself firsthand. By night you won't be able to climb any of the pyramids but the guided walking tour will give you so much more information than what you can find on your own exploring during the day. It also gave life to the city. They showed you what the pyramids might have looked like with the fresco paintings on the outside, which is totally different than what you're looking at right now. It really gives you an appreciation for how intelligent and uh, resourceful the people who lived in Teotihuacan were, not only to build pyramids this massive, but also to have made such an ornate, beautiful decorations on the outside that all played such significance in their culture and their beliefs. It really is a magical experience, and if you're visiting, we highly suggest doing both of these activities. This is a very popular attraction. There's going to be large crowds. And make sure that you have sun protection. Dennis got like the worst sunburn of his life there. <laughs> so bring a hat um, or at least wear sunscreen or something that can kind of keep you cool because the climate is chillier in the morning but definitely warm in the middle of the day. And good walking shoes because you are going to be traversing ancient pyramids and walking on a very long avenue that is filled with dirt. So wear comfortable walking shoes because you're going to be doing a lot of walking outside. 
So we started our daytime exploration at the Pyramid of the Sun, which for size comparisons has the same footprint as the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, except for it's not quite as tall. The Pyramid of the Sun is the largest pyramid in the city of Teotihuacan, and if you're daring enough, you can actually walk the stairs all the way up to the top. It's 250 very steep stairs, but there are places to stop and rest, so no matter what your age or ability level is, you could probably do it. The Teotihuacanans that originally built the Pyramid of the Sun built it on top of an ancient lava tube that at the end of the tube has a clover-shaped cave that they believe was the navel of the earth and the center of the universe where all life came from. Unfortunately, you can't actually go into the interior of the pyramid, but it's still really rad to know that this is where the Teotihuacanan and Aztec cultures believe that all life came from. While all of the pyramids at Teotihuacan hold a significant importance for the culture, they believe that the Pyramid of the Sun held exceptional importance because of the position. Every year on a specific day, typically the spring equinox, the pyramid and the sun perfectly align. It's believed that this sacred alignment is supposed to signify the time of harvest and abundance. When you're standing on top of the Temple of the Sun, you can easily make out the Avenue of the Dead, which starts with the Temple of the Moon closing off its northernmost end and running a mile and a half down to the Temple of Quetla Coats. Originally, the pyramids and the structures that lined the Avenue of the Dead were believed to be tombs, hence the name Avenue of the Dead. But it's been later discovered that there were uses beyond burial grounds, including houses and gathering areas for the different villagers and social classes among the Teotihuacan people, as well as storage uses. One in particular has been found to be a seed vault. At the very north end of Teotihuacan is the Pyramid of the Moon. The Pyramid of the Moon is slightly smaller than Pyramid of the Sun, but still holds significant importance for the people. There's a statue that sits in front of the temple that represents the goddess of water. And for this reason, experts believe that the Pyramid of the Moon was used for ceremonial and religious practices for the bringing of water and fertility. Next to the Pyramid of the Moon is actually a living area that was used by the elite in Teotihuacan. Since it was a social class society, the most important citizens like the elders and the priests live closest to the ceremonial temples that were on top of the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon. Archaeologists have reconstructed one of the living quarters and courtyards to represent what it may have looked like at the peak of the city. The frescoes inside of the living quarters were extremely colorful and beautiful and depicted scenes of life in the city and legends believed by the Teotihuacan people. It was very common practice for Mesoamerican cultures to want to expand and enhance their spiritual temples and pyramids. But instead of destroying the existing structure and building something brand new, they would just expand and build on top of the existing pyramid that was in place. In certain areas of the Avenue of the Dead, you can actually walk onto platforms near the living quarters and see really great examples of this. Archaeologists have actually excavated areas and they found basically time capsules of life before the pyramids that you can see on the surface. At the most southern end of the avenue, you'll find the temple or pyramid of Quetzalcoatl, which was our personal favorites just because it was so different and unique. There was a lot more detail at this temple. There was a lot more statue heads and engravings of Quetzalcoatl and other spiritual symbols in their religion. The temple of Quetzalcoatl is where they believe to have worshipped the cosmos or the heavens. It's believed that Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, is the god that is responsible for the creation of all life and represents the cycle of death and rebirth. The legend of Quetzalcoatl, although often called by a different name, has been found in writings from other ancient cultures, including the Maya, the Toltec, and the Olmec, who is one of the oldest ancient civilizations in Mesoamerica. They believe that the Temple of Quetzalcoatl is one of the most important in all of Teotihuacan because of the number of sacrificial bodies that were found buried inside of the temple probably in relation to this cycle of life and death and rebirth. Visiting Teotihuacan is absolutely spectacular and it was such an incredible experience both ways that we were able to experience it. It's definitely something I feel like we constantly are saying on our travels through Mexico, this is like a bucket list thing you must do. But really, how often do you get to say that you walked among ancient pyramids from a civilization thousands of years ago 
I mean, it's incredible. It's easy to see why Teotihuacan is the most visited archaeological site in all of Mexico. So if you do find yourself visiting Teotihuacan, please be respectful because this is still a highly heralded spiritual site for a lot of people today. If you've been to Teotihuacan or if this video is helping you plan your visit, we would love to hear about it in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful or you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. We put weekly travel vlogs sharing our RV adventures through the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And our next video will be coming out Monday at 6 p.m. So we'll see you then.